Now, to know more about the latest condition, TVRI World Reporter Zulhafis Stadore is with us live from Hasa in Turkey. Zulhafis, please give us an update. Well, hi, Ed. Uh, I'm currently here in uh, Hasa district, uh, one of the districts here in Hatay province in Turkey. And it's freezing right now. Uh, I'm saying it's freezing and, and, and I'm shivering because uh, uh, the weather conditions, is, it's, it's one of the challenges that I've been uh, facing by the um, all rescue workers and, and emergency medical teams. and. And also here right behind me, uh, that's a field hospital provided by Indonesian government uh, for, the, for our Indonesian uh, emergency medical team uh, here in uh, Hasa district in uh, Hatay province. And, uh, and I spoke with one of the volunteers here in Hasa that they mentioned that they are, they are, they are uh, facing difficulties uh, of 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 um, water and sanitations, but but thankfully last night uh, here in Hasa uh, uh, there are uh, toilets or temporary toilets that have been uh, prepared or built by the local authorities. So uh, it might be help uh, help to the uh, local or our Indonesian emergency medical team that have been. Uh, working together with local authorities here in Hasa district, Hatay province uh, in Turkey, and uh, and, um, and many in in the affected areas and, uh, are facing a dire um, emergency as they try to pick up uh, pieces in 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 freezing conditions. Uh, they are uh, uh, lacking or uh, or lack of of food, um, water. And, and sanitation, as I mentioned earlier, and it's really uh, devastating. It really is. And last night, uh, we are TVRI World had the um, opportunity to to visit the uh, one of the affected areas here in um, Hatay Province, uh, uh, and uh, it's it's really devastating to see all rubbles, buildings collapsed, and and I can't even imagine uh, how does it feel. And all I can say uh, that I'm also, I mean, it's feel amazing to see that we are, like all nations are coming together, working together to to search and rescue uh, the victims or, or to help or to give support to uh, um, uh, Turkey's government here and meaning that uh, humanity uh, unites us all Edda. and in the meantime the death toll as of uh, Sunday evening yesterday Edda, the death toll in um, in Turkey uh, rises to 41,020 uh, the death toll in uh, Turkey following the powerful or deadly earthquake that hampered uh, Turkey on uh, February the 6th 2023 and also last night uh, uh, we are also had the opportunity to uh, to visit uh, our Indonesian uh, search and rescue team in Antakya in Hatay and then they mentioned that uh, the operations, the search and, and rescue operation has stopped the USAR coordination cell or UCC uh, meeting last night on Sunday, uh, February uh, the 19, 2023, uh, determined that the USAR operation for the international team um, was stopped and would, uh, would then be continued by AVAT and, and the UCC would be closed as of today, uh, February 20th, 2023 at 12, uh, 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 PM local time, Edda, and then the international USAR or uh, search and rescue team would return to their uh, respective uh, countries, Edda. And in the meantime, Edda, that this concludes my report to an end. I'm Zulhavi Stadori and our camera person, Danu Dirja, reporting live from Hasa Hatay province in Turkey. We'll see you in a few hours on our special reports on TVRI World. Back to you now, Edda. Yeah. Thank you so much for reporting, Zulhafis and Danu from uh, Turkey. That is the latest update we get there after the aftermath. Now back to the studio.